Hello again, I am Volante. Now, long-time viewers will probably already know this, but I've been a pretty passionate Pentax Q fan since day one. And I do mean day one. I was one of the first, if not the first, person in Australia to actually own one. And out in the world, I've even run into a couple of you on some group photo walks and such who've snapped up one of the Qs based on my reviews and sample shots and have loved shooting with them as much as I do, which is always really encouraging to see. About a month ago, Ricoh Imaging announced they would be offering a limited edition Pentax Q7 Premium Kit. There was a previous version of a Q7 kit which was called the Complete Kit, but it was slightly different in what was included. This one's new. Only 1,000 of these Q7 Premium Kits will be produced worldwide, and the Pentax team in Japan sent me one of them, which made my face do this. So seeing as how this is all special and one of only a thousand on the face of the planet, I figured we might as well do the unboxing thing. I mean, I don't think it's very likely too many of these things will be making their way out of Japan into the hands of us round-eyed Westerners. So, lovely classy packaging and custom-fit foam cradles for it all, for those who'd rather have it on display as a rare collectible rather than head into the world with it and play. Of course, there's the camera body, and while the Q7 can actually be ordered in 120 different colour combinations, like my own Bruce Lee and Game of Death inspired yellow and black combo, the one here is stealthy, classical and elegant black on black. The lens collection comprises of a matching black 01 lens, that's what they call the standard prime, it's an f1.9 with a 40mm focal length in full frame terms. There's a lovely metal lens hood for it too, exclusively made for the kit, it's treated with a special black coating to match the lens and camera body. The 02 lens, again in black, as the 01 and 02, like the camera bodies, are available in a range of colours. The 02 is a standard zoom, f2.8 to 4.5, it's basically the equivalent of the classic 24 to 70 zoom lens. Lovely. Lens hood included here too, again, this is not usually included with the lens, so nice. The 06, my favourite lens on the system, it is a surprisingly impressive bit of glassware. f2.8 constant aperture and a 70 to 209mm equivalent focal length range. I have a dedicated review all about this one and all Q owners should check it out if you don't already own a 06 telephoto zoom. It's a must have as far as I'm concerned. And once more of course it's complete with the lens hood. Finally, there's the 08 wide zoom lens, f3.7 to f4, 17 to 27 millimeter full frame equivalent, and I've never even tested this one, but it's been on my want list since it was announced about six months back. It's the newest of the lenses on the system, and from what I've read, I'm going to rather enjoy it. And you guessed it, there's a lens hood for it too. Particularly handy on ultra wide angle lenses, which are by nature more prone to flaring. All four of the included lenses have built-in neutral density filters and leaf shutters. And between the three zooms, you've got complete coverage all the way from ultra-wide 17mm right through to 209mm, plus the fast f1.9 40mm prime. It is an absolutely ideal selection of lenses for this camera. Down in the corner here is a polarizing filter, which will fit the 0, 01, 0, 02 and 0, 06 lenses, good for cutting through glare and getting some more punch out of daylight images. Underneath the main tray here, we've got the battery, charger, power cable, USB cord, manuals, software CD and warranty cards and such, and of course, the neck strap. So, that's the main box, but we're not done yet. We've still got one of them there, but wait, there's more kind of moments. Included in the kit as well is this sweet little bespoke camera bag, crafted especially for the Q7 with special pouches and pockets for the lenses, the camera itself of course, and even room for spare memory cards and batteries. Sure, I suppose you could call it a little bit man Percy, but as a custom made camera bag for the camera with the lens attached and five other lenses, it's pretty damn awesome. And a perfect way to tote around your Q7. Watch for it slung around my shoulders on a photo walk near you. <laughs> all in all, it's a friggin' amazeballs cam. And if you do the math on what this lot would cost you if you got them all separately, it's actually damn good value too. I feel all kinds of special, so thank you very much to the Japanese Pentax team for throwing this at me completely out of the blue. It's not even my birthday yet.
Now, it's fair to say not everyone really gets the Q-series cameras, and that's fair. It's truly unique in the world. It's somewhere between perplexing and complete genius. But for those of us who are cognizant of the Q's character, a complete camera system with high-end DSLR-level controls and feature set that you can jam it and a full range of lenses into a tiny bag or even the pockets of cargo pants and take it anywhere you like. It's crazy and epic and joyful, and I adore it. It fills me with enthusiasm and passion. You may have picked up on that. And honestly, I've taken some of my very favorite photos with it. But anyway, I'm falling into waxing lyrical about the Q-series all over again. If you're curious about the sort of weirdo, I do have a small fistful of other videos exploring and fully reviewing the cameras and lenses in the system. They'll be linked in the description, of course. I just wanted to show off this wonderful, and actually very rare, box of Pentaxian nerd joy that I have been bewilderingly fortunate enough to have arrive in my hands. Thanks for watching, I'm an unusually gleeful blunty today, and I will catch you next time.